What's up guys, my name is Joy, and look at what I see on the news today. Battlefield 5 has been delayed. Uh, and for good reasons, right? Obviously reasons that Angry Joe could not see. Which is really funny how a blind, moronic game reviewer known as Angry Joe, who's got a reputation, who's completely so out of the fucking loop, it's disgusting wanted you to buy this game and now look look at what DICE did look at what EA did they they delayed it they fucking delayed it why because it's shit no one's buying it no one's pre-ordering it and pre-orders while they are part of the problem you still have Black Ops 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2 releasing at the same time so they're delaying it as well to kind of try to boost sales in November so by pushing it back like a month they don't have to compete with Black Ops 4 and Red Dead 2 good marketing strategy EA um, the statement they also gave on this was funny. You can check out Young Yaz's video on the statement they give. But I, I find it funny that no one's calling out the cuck boy who fucking shielded for this crap. Had you pre-ordered it when he shielded for it in that video that he did, you would have been met with this message today. The game's been delayed, so you just spent 60 bucks for a delayed product. So glad I didn't listen to that guy, and I didn't pre-order this. So glad I haven't bought Black Ops 4 or Red Dead 2 yet. Um, because they're just, they're going to have microtransactions in them also, I guarantee it. Rockstar especially, as well as Black Ops 4, no doubt. It's Activision, right? They're no better. So we, we can hate EA all day, but let's be honest, most of the recent games in recent, in the last, what, five, ten years, have been riddled with micros and extra day one DLC and all that crap. It's, it's not news anymore. It's the norm. And the norm sucks. And the norm deserves to be taken out back and shot. And any shills or fanboys also deserve to be taken out back and shot. It's really, really pathetic how people can defend bad practices like this when they've had a reputation and have gotten famous for once upon a time being for the consumer and for the consumer. And um, obviously, cuck boy, shill boy Joe is no longer for the consumer. But I'm so glad I didn't listen to him and buy this game because I'm not a moron like he is. I... I can't believe that guy's not working at McDonald's. And I, before I go any further, I do want to say that I'm kind of surprised that people still take his game reviews like to heart and listen to his game reviews because he used to be a good game reviewer, and now he's not so much. He doesn't really do game reviews. He does movies. I kind of wish he wouldn't even do movies at this point. He has no credibility at all anymore. He's done. After this, he's completely done. This just proves how moronic the guy is. So now let's move back to EA. So obviously it's delayed because no one's going to buy it this month with Black Ops 4 and the pre-orders being so low. And I don't think anyone's going to buy it in November either, which is the new release date. However, their statement, again, is really fucking hilarious. They're basically saying thousands of people at Gamescom and stuff have played the game and we've gotten excellent feedback. Yeah, you've gotten feedback that you didn't listen to, EA. You didn't listen to any of the feedback you got, actually. You didn't want to take women out. You called people uneducated. You have yet to apologize for it and take accountability. You know, if you had put, you can have females in the game. That's not what people are complaining about. And I just want to correct that so Angry Joe's dumbass can understand it. We don't care about females. We want the females as Russian snipers because that's what they were. You know, most the most notably, most notable females in World War II were, were Russian. They were like sniper units and whatever. They, there was a female sniper that I remember being like amazing in World War II. Had you released a free title update with, like, a, a squad pack for, like, the Russians or something, I wouldn't have an issue if they were female, right? If that was the case. However, you didn't do that. You stuck to your guns, like Cyberpunk is doing with the whole first-person shit. And that's another reason I'm not buying that game, is because they're not listening to consumers. Consumers want third-person in Cyberpunk. Consumers don't want females on the front lines of Battlefield 5. It's not hard to understand what consumers want. You refuse to listen, though. You claim you listen to feedback and you're listening to suggestions. I hate it when these companies do this because it's a PR bullshit stunt, and anyone that listens to it is a, mor is a moron. They're doing this so that they can release in November so they don't have competition between Black Ops 4 and Red Dead 2. Well, guess what? This delay does nothing but justify the fact that you should still not buy this game. I'm still not going to buy it in November until EA's ego gets over their fucking faces and they can apologize to the fans for calling them uneducated and telling them do not like it, don't buy it, and they can admit their faults. And even then, I probably still wouldn't buy it. Why? Because it's a life lesson, and life lessons deserve to be learned. My name's been Joy. I hope you enjoyed this video, 
and if you liked what you saw, go ahead and thumbs up. If I get a comment from an Angry Joe shield boy, cuck boy, fanboy that says, you know, you hate Angry Joe and you're so negative and your personality shit, well, I have news for you, buddy. You haven't met me in real life, and a 15-minute video isn't going to tell you shit. In real life, I'm just as much of an asshole as I am on YouTube, but you know what? Women like it. That's why I have a, I have a fiancé right now, okay? Women like my assholeness. A lot of women do, and I don't know why they like it. Oh, I know, because... I'm a sexy, attractive guy when I'm an asshole, and I know what I fucking want. Unlike your bitch ass, which probably cries to your mommy every day. So, fuck out of here. Ah, man, I used a mommy joke. I feel ashamed. Oh, well, who cares? It's over with. I don't give a shit. Anyways, the point being, don't buy Battlefield Five. Even in November, don't buy it. It's not worth it. Until EA can be accountable, and even then, I still wouldn't buy it. This is a life lesson they need to learn and they need to learn it well. Same for Angry Joe. If he wants to sit here and defend EA all day, he can. I say let it crash and burn. Let Angry Joe get woke or go, or go broke at this point. Because that's, that's pretty much what he needs to do also. He needs to be working at fucking McDonald's or on the corner. Actually, you know what? McDonald's is too good for him. Just let him work on the corner, please. Anyways, guys, my name is Joy. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I'm sorry I'm like ranting on right now. It's, it's overdue. But yeah, if you like the video, thumbs up. See you guys next time.